Hello, my friends. I got a haul from Amazon. Yeah, just a itty bitty one. You know, I told you in the last one that they, uh, the vendors that sell on Amazon, little thing, you can make your whole order, but little things come different days and different, you know, yada yada. So anyway, so I'm just going to show you what I've got in this package. I bought a um, a clay mold of yeah I need more molds like I need a hole in my head maybe I do need a hole in my head who knows well, how do you get into this well that's interesting My goodness. So it's of little flowers. These will be small enough that I can use them on my, um, see, my paper clips. Yeah. Paper clip, I got to get to that. I got to start making paper clip stuff. Alright, now this is, I don't know which one this is, but we shall find out. Oh, this is, I need to look in my boxes, make sure I got everything out. This is glassine paper. I ordered glassine paper so I can make my own bags the size I want, and I have a, um, a die that makes little bags. I think it's the size of the ATC. But anyway, that's what this is. It's glassine. There's 25 sheets of 8.5 by 11 glassine bags. And then, and this one, we have bells. I ordered jingle bells. And I ordered them. Itty bitty on up. There's different sizes in here. They're supposed to be different sizes. Maybe they're not. That's okay. Oh, look at that one. That's a deformed one. I got a deform. I got a deform. I got a unique one. Look at that. Look how unique that is. I bet I don't have it on autofocus. Look how unique that bell is. Come on, focus. Look at that. It's It got smushed in the machine. There's no jingle bell in it. But I'm going to use it because it's cool looking. Oops. Anyway, yeah. And they make noise. You hear them? These will go on some of my beads that I'm making. My paper beads. I hope everybody's watched that video. Because it's a cool way to do your beads. I've been having lots of fun. And I've been getting rid of a lot of napkins. So, I shouldn't have poured them all out. I didn't pour them all out. I shouldn't have poured a whole bunch of them out. But I thought they were all different sizes. But it showed on the Amazon that they were all different sizes. I think these came from Tibet. I'm looking. Let me see. These come from a seller in... JD Gems in Lexington, Kentucky. I thought I ordered this from China or Tibetan. I don't know. 
but they're cool and I like them. Now this is, you're going to say, what is that? What is that? The camera's going to blow out. I don't know if that'll make it focus or not, but I'll put something. Something here for it to focus on. Forget it. I'm going to turn it off. Okay, what this is, is I ordered circle paper stickers. See? Sticker paper, and they're in circles. And this goes through your computer, your printer, and I'm going to print off some of my artwork on them. And yeah, I'll have some pretty. Um, I scanned my my art that I did. Oh, I don't know what video it was where we we put paint down on it and then we stenciled on it. And one was material and. One was canvas paper, and one was just regular paper. And I scanned all those, so I'm going to make me some stickers. I'm going to have fun making me some stickers. All right, I told you it was itty-bitty. It's just an itty-bitty haul, not much. I'm going to make me some... You know what? I think I'm going to use paper. Paper. Instead of clay clay, I'm going to use paper. Like Eileen does. I'm going to have to go watch her video. I don't know if she mixes glue with hers or not. Eileen, do you mix glue with yours? Would you tell me in the comments, with, do you mix glue with your toilet paper when you make these clay things? Please let me know. Alright guys, oh, I want to show you. I got me out some black paper. I'm getting them. Okay. Alright, I got me out some, well, it's dark, dark blue. I couldn't find any black. But I, I, this is drying. This piece is drying. I painted this with some paint. Just scribbled on it. Nothing. No. And put duty dots on it. And this one I did with a white Sharpie pen. I just scribbled. Just put things on it. This one I did the same. Kind of did some zentangling on it. You can't really see it, but it comes out a little bit. This one was just dotty dots. They're dry now. I was waiting for the I over glued them and I was waiting for the glue to dry. And then just some plain ones. Some plain little ones. And I thought when you put UT on those and they get real shiny they are going to be a beautiful. A really a beautiful. I'm going to turn autofocus back on. And the white's gonna, I'm gonna move the white paper because it's gonna blow the camera up. Anyhow, you put UT on these, and they are going to be gorgeous. Just gorgeous beads. I love it. I'm making a jillion of them. I don't know why, but this one's drying. This is white paint out of my fine line writer. And a little bit. It's probably good enough. I can roll it now. But anyhow, just wanted to show you all that. What I've been doing. What I've been doing while I've been sitting here editing my videos. And getting them up. Alright. Talk to you later, guys. Bye-bye.